consensus elsewhere seems to be that Liverpool are actually lucky to come away with a point here tonight. Is that fair or can I hear your assessment? Oh, I don't think so, but I can. I, I, I mean, meanwhile, I know why he says or he thinks that. Um, because we have the. Obviously, our goal was offside. I didn't know that in the game and in half time. Nobody told me. Oh, I didn't ask. <laughs> um, after the game, I, um, our analyst told me immediately, so I can imagine that. So they scored a goal, we scored an offside goal. Um, then that's maybe, the, but that's actually the only reason uh, why he could think that, because apart from that, and a couple of other set pieces where they were really strong. Um, they had moments when we lost the ball, when they could win it with the deep formation and stuff like that. That's, but that's normal. We had um, a lot of situation with passing through balls on our fullbacks, especially Robbo in the first half, uh, where we didn't find the, the, the free player. Um, and on the other side, similar, we didn't we didn't find it. That um, it was difficult again. These uh, creating against so many. Um, legs, honestly, and um, because of our situation, we, we had to. We, yesterday night we trained, and after the session we had to change three positions. That's of course not op not not <laughs> not perfect. Eh? So, and you saw that around the set pieces, especially with the organization, and um, you know, that's where we struggle a bit. Apart from that, it's a, a game where I think if we um, if we scored a, the, if Devok scores a late goal, then it's of course uh, would be a, um, a lucky moment. But um, the point is absolutely deserved. So, Jürgen, uh, Mark Noble said in a TV interview afterwards, we scared them. Uh, oh, I like that really. I would wish, I would wish for all West Ham fans that Mark Noble and his team would scare more teams and not only us tonight, because there never been another situation. I, I, I don't know him really well, so I don't know why he speaks about us after a game like that. Um, they defended well. That's true. They didn't scare us. Um, we had. Um, it's just. An, it's a normal away game. We won away games when we played worse than tonight, and our, our, um, nobody spoke about it afterwards. We won last year at Crystal Palace, two-one with two with two offensive situations, pretty much. Tonight we had much more. That they have quality. There's no doubt about that. Why they don't have more often results, I don't know. But tonight they had the results. Uh, they had the result one one, but I didn't see that they scared us. Oh, it's very important. We had a difficult situation, and it was it's a long season, and um, I don't want to. Um, think like because now I only think about that game, but in general we lost one game and um, in the whole season. So the team is doing well, and we have a tough situation at the moment. Um, we have really um, the injuries. We I don't know where they come from or, or illness. And Millie was ill until, or maybe he is still ill. I'm not sure. And um, and 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 Birch had. Three, four days where it was out, lost four kilo. Obviously, that doesn't help as well. So you have difficult situation, and you cannot the, the center half position, the right, the, the full back position. That's all difficult in the moment. But the boys still fight. Could we could we have played better even in that situation? One hundred percent, and that's what we expect from ourselves. But um, the games are difficult, and you have to 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 accept. Um, the, the quality of the opponent and then use their weaknesses, what, what they have. And we did that in a lot of situations pretty well, but they, they reacted already uh, with the lineup, um, with the 4 5 1, with Snodgrass in the half space. So it's a more defensive formation and was clear, was for counter attacks and all that stuff. Um, and that with Antonio and especially Anderson, that, that's, a, that's a good idea, honestly. And that always gives you, in moments when you have um, when you have the ball and you try to play, and you have to pass through tight spaces. If you lose then the ball, um, with the quality, with the speed they have, that may, that's really um, not cool. And, um, and that. Um, yeah, it doesn't help the rhythm in a game and stuff like that. And we have to do the good things in a game much more often and um, to avoid a couple of things. But how I said, the set piece situation, that's not normal for us. The, the, the routine they played for the goal, that's brilliant, but we knew about it. And But changing three players, that changed a lot. And obviously that didn't work out. That's my fault then, that we couldn't explain it clear enough um, what we have to do in a situation like that. And the other situation with Rice, the free header, more or less, that's not, but that usually doesn't happen to us. But tonight it happened, and that's maybe the reason why, um, why some things they should have deserved more. Final two, David. Yeah, do you think it is the injuries that are causing the biggest issues at the moment? Because obviously, 
Look, it's not. I don't. I don't. I don't moan about that. Well, it's just a fact, and I don't. I don't want it. It's not an excuse. Nothing. I said we could have played better tonight, 100. But it's a situation which is not perfect. And having losing three players up or change, we lost two players, and Millie came back, but he didn't train yesterday. Um, he came by himself to London because he was infectious. Um, and so that's all not perfect, of course. So it's, for me, it's a, it's a, it explains a, a, a parts of the game, but of course, it's not. I, we don't look for these things. How I said, um, it was not the preparation for the game was far away from being perfect, and we still got a point. So that's it, and um, and that's yeah, that's it. Final question: Manchester City could go top on Wednesday. Who who's under more pressure here? Is it yourselves to preserve this lead, or them to try and take take top spot and are you confident your your lads won't crack? Oh yes, I'm not confident about that, but it's not about. It's, yeah, yeah, I think since five, six, seven, eight weeks, we talk about a two-horse race. Now Tottenham came from behind, and they have a very difficult situation and deal with it brilliantly. I have to say, really, all credits to to Poch and this uh, and his team how they did it, and winning late game, games very late and with um, a lot of injury problems as well. That's that's great. So for me, they are 100% in the race, and um, so that's the situation. And if you want to be at top of the table at the end of the season, you have to deal with much tougher situations than we had today. That's the truth. That's that's always clear. But of course, you need you need players fit and available. That helps um, a bit. Um, midfield players tonight would have been apart from Shark would have been 18 and 18 uh, years old, brilliant boys and. If needed, we would have we would have um, played them tonight, of course, but um, that's that's not perfect in the moment. But we have to we have to fight. We have to fight. That's all. It's not about pressure. It's about enjoying the situation you are in. It's, you know, we have 62 points, lost one game in a full season so far, which is very positive. But I see in your faces already. You you you, you feel a bit sorry with us. You don't have to. Eh? We are fine. So we are fine and it, everything is good. And um, but of course tonight was just a tough game. But if you have a day like that and with the, the, the things happened yesterday, and then you go, you you get a point at West Ham. For me, that's okay. that's absolutely fine. So it's going to get tougher from here on in then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clear. That's clear. That's not a surprise. That's clear. But for all of us, if you want to if you want to win big things, you have to be ready for for these tight um, races. That's how it is. But yeah.